from the internal parentheses and it's approximately in the middle of the top section on I'm base 6 the line begins with the word Omixas Mimano Bhagavad Gita So, we are kind of in the middle trying to identify the reference. Who is Shmoy? So initially we said, who is Atzma? And Shmoy, this is the Oyer. And now we end in parenthetic and saying that and explaining that actually it is explained elsewhere that who also refers to Oyer. And why is that? Since that who is an inference of Helen, and Helen, the term Helen is applicable only to to such an element that has an element of Gilui as well. Otherwise, it is not appropriate to to describe it as Helen. It has no 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 sachas to Helen or Gilui. Atmos has no Gilui. And therefore, the word Helm is not a proper description. That's why we're saying no, that the Helm, the infant who, which is Helm, that is actually referring to Oir. And this, because Oir has a shaykhus to the union of Gilui. And this is why the union of Helen is really a, a, an appropriate reference. And then in internal parentheses, what is the union of Gilui that we say that is, is, is really uh, uh, correctly um, inferred in Oir? Even though definitely there is oil that is not the gil, but there is a, the, 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 in, in the general element of gil in oil. And what is that? The principle of gil is ha'oyer shabo lefiyerach klei hamakabli. The oil that that is expressing itself in a manner in proximity in a possibility of being accepted in a cave and it actually miscabel it settles and it is accepted in a cave we will discuss it briefly Included in that Gamkin, Masha Epsheli his galleys, that which is Epsheli his galleys, that is possible to be Nisgal of Loy Nisgala at night, but it was not yet Nisgala. And nevertheless, that goes into the same category, in the same realm of the union of, uh, of Oir. What is the principle? Miskabel bekelim. There is that which can be miskabel bekelim. What is the principle of kelim? The principle of kelim is that this inyan can be expressed at a level 
but is, which is much lower than the than the essence itself. The obvious and, and the clear the clearest illustration of that is what you say the from Lois Sigloy. And we say all the time, Lois Sigloy is a godly pincer. It is not merely an offense in the disturbance of the world structure. And we explained that really from a godly perspective, you go back to the to the real source, Loy Signib is not applicable. There's no possibility of Gnaib. The whole thing doesn't apply. But nevertheless, in this oil, so to speak, in this principle that uh, that that the uh, represents at a much more distant element, level, at the, if we talk about gil, we talk about the, the way the ads are pre, is it presented at some very distant level, no signal is applicable. And mislabish, miskaba bikilim. That's what keli. Keli means that it can be expressed in different terms than than its own truth. Therefore, the Indian oil at any level has an, an, has a, a, a shaykh, so to so speak, a, a kind of, it can relate to Caleb, even though it's, this is an oil that is not the slavish of Caleb. person who is an absolutely truthful person, like the Vedic Rebbe, this is something which occurred in our own time, was not, it was completely out of character. It, it's impossible for him to say something which he didn't mean. For some kind of ulterior motive. This came out in court, in the court, in, a, in, a, in, a, in this forum case, where they, when they presented as evidence the Pritikinev's letter, where he writes that, that I'm asking that they should help me retrieve my library, which is the library for, for, that belongs to Agudah Chivis Chabad. He didn't say it's not a problem. Agudah Chivis Chabad, so, they, they, so I'd like that they should help me retrieve it. And uh, this was presented as evidence that the library belongs to a good city, but not, it's not a private a private, a private, a private. The opposition um, um, uh, came back with a retort and says, the rabbi wrote this for a, for a practical reason, in order to get help to retrieve the library. He didn't, this is not really what the, the reality is. To remain is. on this call, press one. Ah. Returning to the conference room. He didn't really mean it. So, so one of the winters, Chaim Lieberman was one of the witnesses, and he knew the field carrier for many, many years, even though he was represented the opposite uh, side. That's an amazing thing. So the judge asked him, isn't it possible that the rebel wrote this for ulterior reasons? So he jumped up and he says, that is not possible. So what does it mean it's not possible? He's completely above it. But it is possible. So therefore, to say not possible is appropriate. This is from Helen, I saw that in, in Oif. Yes, indeed, he's completely above. But it's still talking about um, a human being in a Muslimish Begut, in a worldly context, where the question is applicable. 
even though from his higher uh, abode, it's not possible that he must ever come come to such a to such a a, 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 a state a state. This is the principle that I was explaining. Oil in general, there are, there are different levels of oil. Oil that's very close to the earth. Ultimately, uh, the, the principle of oil is that it can be mislabish and kate. This oil cannot be mislabish and kate. Like you say, it's impossible that you should say anything devious. I said, not possible. You can't say it. It's not, there is no caning for it. There's nothing compelling in the world that is not possible. It's not possible because of, of his uh, essential truth, not because of the of the phenomenon itself. It's definitely possible to say something like this. This is why I came to this to this uh, uh, point to explain uh, that. That, that if at, at, at the most distant level it is possible to be slabish and kill him, then this is oil, and it qualifies for saying that this is who, this is hell. Because hell means is applicable to something that that has a possibility of gil. What is possible of gil? At some distant level, it can be slabish and gil. That's gil. Okay, let's let's now continue. So again, we're in the, uh, approximately in the middle of the, the top section. Commissioner Kosovo Makemaka is the beginning of the line. Velochein, and therefore, Aklal Oir, and Oir in general, Gam Bechinas Etzem Oir, even the very essence of the Oir, the aspect of Etzem Oir, Shein Rebechinas Gil Klal, that is not at all in the realm of Gilui, in the, in the state of Gilui, Shayach Loimar, nevertheless, there it is applicable, it's possible to say, to refer to it as who. Who means who, the beginner's helm, that it is conceived. Bring it back down to ourselves, as we as do. As we said in, in the latest discussion, there's a certain a certain mode of behavior that is a, that is clearly definite in the, uh, 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 the demonstrating and, and, and manifest, uh, manifesting in human elements. The human, the essence of the human being, is this is beyond guilt. Then there is the union of the, that that there is the, uh, the that that which is oil that that can be begin that can be begin means ultimately at some point in time it can, at some point on, on, at that level it can be described in terms of some kind of activity. That's when Miskava became Mislavish became. Since that this is an, an element, this oil, this gil, is an element that at some at some distant level it can be mislabish and given and said he will eat with a with a with a fork and a knife and will sit by the table and instead of running around and so forth, this kind of, of, of very far fetched uh, aspects. But nevertheless this all goes into the category of oil, of how this thing manifests itself. Therefore, it is it is applicable there to say that this union is who this is the the, the, the real essence of it is behel we can never fully identify what is behind it because and and the, the reason it's appropriate to say that's behelum because there is an element of gilu in it <coughs> although we are speaking of it at the level where it is beyond Gil, above Gil. This is what the Rebbe says. Shaykh Leimer Shahu, Shaykh Leimer Hu, 
and that is possible to, uh, is applicable to use the term who. And what is the who, the word term who infer? Shehu bibchinas hell. That it is in, a, in an aspect of hell. Meyachar, since sheyesh bo yini hagilu, that there is in this general principle, the union of gilu, where is it? In the hispashtus, in the <coughs> hispashtus means how this affected, is affected on, on a broader scale. How would he behave under this circumstance? That's hispashtus. It's not talking about the essence of the person. So in the hispashtus, and Madrigas Tachtoina Shabai, and at the lower level, the levels of that oil, there there is the union of, of guilt. And therefore, it is appropriate to refer to it as who? As, as heaven. Again, we'll, we'll bring it down to to a, a, a meaningful level in a moment. Ah, well, beginners who etzem, but the aspect of the etzem itself, which is not oil, which is not the effect of the etzem, but the etzem itself, sharing the get the gilui klal, which is not in the gather, not in the realm of gilui at all. Not at any, and, and it doesn't have the whole union of Gilu, it does not have the, it does not have the principle, how does this affect? What is its mission? What is its, what is its statement? Therefore there, the, the, the principle of Helam is also not applicable. Because Helam is applicable only when you say in contrast to Gilu, but it doesn't have the Gilu. Therefore, it's not a, there is no, uh, no possibility of referring to it as hell, a who. Thus, this is lamailo, above the whole phenomenon, the whole realm, the whole principle of hell and begilu. Hell and begilu does not apply. Hell of a gilu is apply, applicable when there is possibility of gilu, and then you say this gilu is the hell. But when gilu does not exist, then there is a malam together gilu, hell of a gilu. Benikro ato. And instead, this is referred to as ato. Ato means you, the second person. Means by yourself. This is referring to Atma. It says Ato. I can speak of Ato any place because Ato is ever, ever present. So let's go quickly over here, and then we'll have. We'll move on. It should be a self under evidence or understood. The mash and nikro ato. That the fact that this is referred to as ato ein ze. It is not meant to say shu vebchinas gilui mamosh. That there is an element of gilui mamosh, an actual gilui. It's like somebody says, Ato, and he's imagining some kind of an apparition standing in front of him. That is not what it means, what, what Ato means, is, is inferring to at all. Shaharei sins gam ho'oir hu bimchinas hu v'hela. Even the oir, the, the influences coming from Ato, are also bimchinas hu. And also have no no a, a, a gilu in a behel. Rak, what then? Shenikro ato. 
it's referred to as Ato, the Hainu, and the principle of Ato, in this case, it has a completely different principle. Shenimtso, that he is present. He is present in his concealed state. Not he is present because I'm identifying him and I'm in any way recognizing his presence. I don't have to recognize his presence. Nim to kmeishu hu behal ame. Vesim shat Why would the word you indicate presence without identification? Because I say you means that he is, he is right in front of you. What's, what's, the, what's the inference of that? His means of measure the Lord in his essential truth, he is present everywhere. And the word everywhere is not even a meaningful term at that level. Because there is no where, there's not in, in terms of Mokiman's man. And as is also inferred in this statement, Shem Shomayim Shogur Befi Kayim. Shem Shomayim, the heavenly name, in other words, a reference, reference to Hashem, Shogur Befi Kayim. It comes easily in, any, in everybody's mouth. mouth. Shogur means it, it flows out of a simple habit. Comes easily to anyone's mouth to say Shem Shomayim. Please God. <laughs> Thank God. And this is something which is shoulder difficult. As I mentioned many times that even in the communist in the communist um, uh, expressions where they are, they are adamantly opposed to, 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 to recognizing any kind of divinity. So it's Raja Boga, everybody knows the Russian news, says, please God. <laughs> really? Or Slava Boga. Slava Boga. This was a, a common thing to hear on the streets of Moscow. And for that, for this you wouldn't get imprisoned. Because there's a strong shema, and this is this is a, a common thing. It's not you don't say the thought. Of what are you saying? It, it comes automatically. It means that the presence of, of the, the, this presence is the behalomi. This is what we explained. We started to talk about last night. And this is the, the, the great significance of this whole discussion. There is, as I said all the time, in the world there is the tendency to say, I know the beginning of things. I know the, 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 the real beginning of things. <clears throat> There's the cause of this and the cause of that. The real beginning. If you know the beginning, then you don't know, then you're not talking about the, 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 the beginning. You're not talking about the truth. You talk, it's a lie. The real beginning is hell. It's not knowable. The real beginning of, of the world, the real beginning of everything, the real beginning of the, of the human spirit. Why do I want this? And, and there's no levels where I know, but the real beginning is because God put in the show me into my into, into. And there's a godly element in this, but he has no beginning, and this is why I have it. The 
The real beginning is Behakmei Nimto Meishu Be'alomai. He is present, and the word everywhere I said is not applicable because it is not within the realm of space. He is present here or there. Not doing here and there. This is beyond that. In his concealed state. In his unobtrusive state. And this is why Shem Shemayim Shogu Bifitri. Might as well conclude this. All the fizer move and be yaser. So now it becomes move and be yaser. Comes very well, exceedingly understood. Eich sheho oir, ein oigilu ho etz. How the oir is not a gilu of the etzem itself, because the etzem is not. The etzem doesn't even go in category of who. It is, it is, it is in your intimation of Behalomi. There is no contrast to the answer. So, Rag Ha'or Al-Abad, that oil is only Ha'or. Okay, so let's finish. Avo Mikom Okoim, but nevertheless, even so, Harei Hu Al-Koponim Bechines Gilui Shemino Etz. <clears throat> it is, nevertheless, I am from Gilui, a Gilui, Shemin Ho'etzem, that originates and comes from the Etzem. Shehu K'moi Ho'etzem. Since it's a Gilui from the Etzem, therefore Shehu K'moi Ho'etzem, it is like the Etzem. And in what sense is it K'moi Ho'etzem? As we explained in the Moshe of the, of the Shemesh, the, 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 the sunlight, the, the direct sunlight, this Gilu is K'moi Ho Etzem. I explained that the Etzem of the sun is Behiri. Behiri means it is, it is light through and through, and the whole phenomenon of darkness is not applicable. It is fundamentally light, not light that is affected to be light. This is the essential state of this. Of this. this is light in essence. And then, and then there is the oil. Gilu yishemino etz, shuhuk mayo etz, that the, the light that emanates and it presents the sun is such a light that eliminates darkness where the whole phenomenon of darkness is 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 eliminated. Like we said, that in sunlight and by day, to describe day, it is not at all in, 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 in context to say by day you could see across the street. Or you could see the subject. Because day does not represent the principle that you could see. You could see is applicable only in contrast to darkness. But day there is no, the, the whole phenomenon of darkness doesn't exist. It is a state of light in the same, in a, in an equal level of truth or fundamental reality as darkness is, is, is at night. Shumzeh, in, in referring to this reality of the oil, that is that Kmoiho Etzem, this is why the oil is called Bitsalmeinu. Bitsalmeinu in our form, Shihid Bechinus Tsura Atzmas, because in fact this is a gil, this is a Tsura. But it's a Tsura Atzmas.
Let me briefly discuss the, the principle of Tzura and Tzura Atmos. <clears throat> when we go down at the lower level, go down to Midas. Midas of Chesed and Guru, and so forth, Midas attributes. How do you define, say, the attribute of chesed, of kindness? Kindness does not exist without a recipient of kindness. Kindness means I am condescending, I am relating to, to this individual who is in need of kindness, and I am restoring kindness. This is not describing the, 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 the source, the, the, the mashpia. This is describing an element you know, between which how he relates to this particular person. <coughs> then we say, that there is a much superior, much higher level of, of kindness. The al explains that, that real midas are those midas that are created by Seich. Which means these midas are not responding to a circle, not reactive. But the Seich reveals the, the full impact of the nefesh, of the nation. And in, in, inherent in the Shema are all these qualities of strength, of chesed and guru. There, that mid of kindness, even though I said it's says kindness, and it's, uh, it means it's a tzura, it has a, a form, how it expresses itself. But this is not a form that is formed by the, by the, by, by, by circumstance, by its effect. It's a form that comes in the, from the nefesh itself. This is the revealing of Midas. It comes to mind just very briefly the story that, that I heard that the Tzimach Tzedek one time came into this medrash and he observed some kind of a certain phenomenon that he had a question, you know, a question of phenomenon. So he went back into his chambers and he he investigated in Allah and so forth what should be the reaction to this kind of observation. And he came to the conclusion that the reaction to this kind of observation should be that you have to be angry. So he came out and he was angry. This is an anger that is not a reactive anger. This is representing the truth of the nefesh itself. It's not the same. Okay, yes, more. If, if something is represents the truth of the nefesh, it should come spontaneously. You don't, shouldn't have to look it up in a book. Get instructions from somebody else. It comes. It come. You give the answer. I should give it. I'm asking the question. No, no. That's what I'm saying. You have to wake up and start thinking. The nefesh is not involved in this circumstance. Nefesh is above the whole thing. The circumstance is 
I've come here, I, I hear you say something. Do you remember she said what the hell said? This is what we're saying. Then there, there is there's an element of of oil, which means there is um, our behavior, like I said before, Loy Signal is a reality. But it's not a reality in the nefesh. It's a reality as the nefesh emanates at the lower level, then it's applicable. But it's a reality. At a much lower level, but it's a reality. Here it's speaking about the etzim or In the marshal we're speaking about much lower. But in in the nimshal it would be it, it, it is there because the etzim is there. So that's what he explains. That at any level, oir can relate to the inyan because whatever it goes, it's still oir. So even though we were talking about a much higher level. Nevertheless, the point of noise signal is applicable, applicable, even though, practically speaking, it's not possible. All right, this is it for this morning.